coming to you from the Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center here in San Antonio, Texas on day one of the General Conference session. Our plan is to give you a glimpse of what's happening here at the Inter-American Division booth where for the next 10 days you're going to get to see all of our 24 major church regions being featured here. So come with us and have a taste of what Inter-America is all about. Okay, we are here with a brand new union, the Dutch Caribbean Union. And with us is Pastor Sherman Cook, its president. And I want you to tell me, tell me a little bit about uh, the Dutch Caribbean Union. What are the countries, uh, the islands that it's composed of? Uh, the Dutch Caribbean Union composes or exists from the uh, ABC Islands in the Southern Caribbean, Aruba, Bonaire, and Curaçao. There we have uh, 46 congregations. We have four schools, four primary schools, and we have we had one hospital, but now it's almost two. It's begin. It's two hospitals in Curacao. So tell me about the membership. How many members do you have, and how many churches, approximately? It's a little more than eight thousand members in forty-six congregations. And I know that you guys are like multi-language. Tell me all the languages that you speak there. Well, most people in Curacao, Aruba, and Bonaire, they speak uh, four languages. That is. Dutch and Parliament are two official languages on the islands, and uh, Spanish and English are widely spoken. Very good. Thank you so much. Now let's see what they're giving out here at their booth. What are you giving out here? Estamos dando lapiceros, estamos dando lámparas, diferentes cosas. Y dime de tu traje. Traje de Aruba. La estrella, la estrella significa libertad para Aruba. Y tiene estos tres colores, son los tres colores de Aruba. Just a few minutes ago, this table was full. Now tell us what you've been giving out. We were giving out some information about Curacao. We're giving some straps ball, some keychain, some pen, CD. and CD with DVD with information about Curacao. Candy. Because uh, oh, what's that candy about? Yes. The sugar candy yeah, from, from, uh, from Curacao. Yeah. So tell me about your dress. It's different. My dress is the typical dress of Curacao. It's a lot what the ladies were wearing over there. If you see, we have a lot of different color and uh, style because Curacao is a multicultural uh, place, you can say, and a very warm and happy people. So the color will reflect our character. Excellent. Thank you so much. We're here with Pastor Andrew Burroughs from the Atlantic Caribbean Union. He's going to tell us a little bit about that union. Tell us about how many islands you have in that union. Okay, the Atlantic Caribbean Union is a fairly new union. Uh, it was just started in 2010. It is comprised of three countries, uh, the Bahamas, the Cayman Islands, and the Turks and Caicos Islands, and four fields. The Turks and Caicos Islands, the North Bahamas Conference, the South Bahamas Conference, uh, it's, it's basically an island union, a, a number of islands make up the country, about 30,000 members. So tell me about, in the Bahamas you have like hundreds of islands, how many are there really? Well they say, uh, they say 700 islands, keys and reefs. So some islands are only like a mile long, some are over 100 miles long, but 700 islands in the Bahamas alone. So tell me, what is the major evangelistic uh, initiative there in the in the Atlantic Caribbean Union. Well, in the in the union, each conference every year we hold major evangelistic crusades. Like this year, uh, the Turks and Caicos Islands had a major evangelistic effort in the first quarter. Uh, coming up in September, the South Bahamas Conference hold another major evangelistic effort. So every year we hold major evangelistic efforts all across the union. Thank you so much. Let's see what these ladies are, are giving away. What are you giving away here? We're giving away everything promoting the country, telling the folks what's happening in the Turks and Caicos and the work of the Adventist Church in the Turks and Caicos. How many members do you have there? We have a membership on books, about 2,800 and about 50 members. Very we nice. have about 10 congregations, um, English, French, Spanish. 
which represents about. I see some candy. What are you giving away? What is that? This is called um, Benny Cake. This is a local candy made locally by the islanders. Peanuts and um, Benny and sugar and water and the rest. <laughs> Pastor Leslie Gillette from the Belize Union of Churches. Now, Pastor Gillette, our division this um, session is talking about how God has blessed us here in the Inter-American Division. Tell us a little bit about Belize, the church, how many churches and memberships, and how God has blessed you and your church there. Okay. Uh, the Belize Union of Churches has really been blessed by God during this past five years. Not only have we grown in numbers, but we have also grown especially in the participation of our members and also in our educational work, where I am directly responsible. Uh, we have seen our schools increase their enrollment. We have seen an average of some five to six hundred young people being baptized every year as a result of educational evangelism. That's in addition to all the church growth that we see happening as a result of pastoral and lay evangelism. God has really been good to us. Uh, lives have been transformed and of course his work continues to grow in Belize. Personally, I have really been blessed these past five years as I've seen the hand of God working step by step, answering our prayers, opening up doors so that we could build churches, so that we could... Uh, add new members to his to his cause and of course so that we ourselves could see our own spiritual growth okay now the Belize Union of Churches is a little bit different setup tell us how many churches do you have the Belize Union of Churches have over a hundred and forty eight churches and groups um, and of course uh, like you said, it's a little different because uh, the strength of our union is in the churches. Our churches are therefore well organized and of course they are dedicated to the whole work of uh, building up the, the membership of our union. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the multiculture uh, there in Belize because I know that some of them speak a lot of Spanish, a lot of English. Tell me a little bit about that. Okay, in Belize we speak mainly English and Spanish. But then there's also the uh, Mayan, uh, Mayan Mopan, the Maya Yucateca. We also speak uh, the Kechi. And of course, there's also the Garifuna language. We, uh, we have Mennonites in Belize, so they speak German. We have Chinese in Belize. And of course, we have uh, Hindus, so they speak the different languages of India. So we have a, a, a gamma of, of different languages there. One more question. How many delegates are here from your union? We have uh, a group of uh, seven of us who are here. And of course, uh, two of us are delegates. Very nice. Thank you so much. As you can see, God is really blessing the Inter-American Division. And we hope that you get to learn a lot more of what's happening here at the IED booth in the next 10 days. Thank you. Thank you.